All right, hello, I'm Eric Littleson from Surgeon Technologies, and today we are unboxing the HoloLens 2. So it's finally arrived, and it's, it's quite lovely in this little box. So I'm just gonna go start, start unwrapping it already, just so you can get a better, better view of this, all this plastic off. The HoloLens 2, Fancy little unit. It's at a, still very much aimed at business customers at a, the $3,500 price tag. Um, but I think it's vastly improved over the HoloLens 1. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. I will say that it has one of the box designs that I am not a fan of. They're like, look how sleek and fancy this is. It's got no, no flaps or anything. But then you go to open it, and it's like we've lost this functionality. But it works. It does work. All right. So we've got this nice case here. I think it's the case has already improved a lot over the Hololens one. I mean, just just this little carrying case alone is is quite nice. Uh, compared to the HoloLens 1, where it was like barely any of the case at all. Um, and yeah, it's a, a nice, high quality sort of case. So let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah. And there you have it. Um, I have a nice little presentation in the, the case, just sitting there. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff. It's just like, there's, there's the HoloLens too. Um, so yeah, this device is, is quite nice. Um, in terms of the screen, they've got that little hinge, that's nice. Um, and so you can just like flip up the visor whenever you're um, not wanting to, to see holograms. And so this screen here has more than double the FOV of the HoloLens 1. So it's sitting at 43 by 29 degrees of field of view. Um, and yeah, that, that vast improvement will be quite nice. And in terms of the design, like this, this balance here, or that by the, this, this back part here, uh, has a lot of weight to it, which balances with the, the front. So it's like, it's pretty equivalent versus the HoloLens 1, where it was just like, everything is on the front, it's all resting on your nose. This device doesn't even rest on your nose. Not really. It's mostly on this head strap, so it's a lot more like a conventional hat. Um, so it's quite comfortable. Um, yeah, and one of the other nice things about this is that it has USB-C charging here. So that's gonna be a lot faster than the micro USB in the last HoloLens one. And yeah, so I'm just gonna Put this off to the side for a moment and just see what else is, is in the case. I'm gonna go a little bit more into the, the features of the model lens because there, there are a number of them in a bit. Let's see what else is in here. So I just got the manual here, it's pretty standard. Got this, some more instructions. Again, pretty standard. And what's in this little box here? Just got a screen cleaning cloth. That's always a nice addition. Gonna have to keep that screen clean as it gets used. We've got your USB power cable. There we go. And, of course, your power adapter. Ooh, there we go. It's even right power right into USB-C. So that has a lot more throughput than the traditional power adapter to USB-A. Um, so, let's get back to the home. So there are a couple of really nice features that I'm looking forward to on this device. Um, Move this case out of the way. Get this, get the focus on the important bits. Okay, 
So one of the really nice things about this device is that um, it has eye tracking. So if you look at the device and these little two uh, nodules around the nose, um, they're cameras that look back at the eye. And so there's a whole lot that can be done with eye tracking, um, but one of the nice things is iris tracking or iris verification. So it's a new way to authenticate your users. Well, maybe not new, but at least new for the HoloLens. And it makes, uh, you know, detecting when a new user has put on a headset um, much easier. It has made uh, calibrating the eyes much easier because you just can tell when a new user puts it on, you can immediately switch to their profile. They have much better um, vision or for the HoloLens, for the holograms um, than they would on the HoloLens 1, where you would have to go through a whole uh, other process to switch. They've also vastly improved hand tracking on these HoloLenses. Um, so you are able to fully track um, all 10 fingers. So you basically have a button on the end of each finger. You could do things like play the piano or type in a much better uh, fashion than you could on the HoloLens 1, where you'd be limited to doing the air tap gesture for any interaction. So it's a lot better. Um, even if it's not perfect, we can get more into that um, in another video, but um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, a nice little introduction to the HoloLens 2. It's a, a very nice device, and I think there's a lot to look forward to here. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.